In this example, we're going to go ahead and do some long division of polynomial functions. So as you can see, everything is nice and organized. It's descending order, x to the third, second, first, and then a constant, x to the second, first, and then a constant. So because this is an x to the second power in our denominator, um, we're definitely going to have to use long division to accomplish this goal. All right, so first the setup, we didn't skip any powers of x, so this is gonna be negative six x cubed plus 10 x squared minus 20 x plus eight goes in as our dividend, and then two x squared minus two x plus five goes as our divisor. If we had skipped any powers of x, we'd wanna put zero of that, that power of x as a placeholder to keep everything nice and lined up in our columns. Now throughout this, I'm always gonna refer back to this very first term in our divisor. And I'm gonna say to myself, what do I need to multiply that two x squared by to give us the first term down here, the six x cubed? So as we think that through, we say two x squared multiplied by negative three is gonna make that negative six, and x squared multiplied by x is gonna make x cubed. Next, what we have to do is whatever we just put in our quotient, that negative three X needs to get distributed to each one of these terms from out here in the divisor. So as we do that, we take negative three X multiplied by two X squared, negative six X cubed. We plan that to be the exact same. Then negative three X times the next term is uh, multiplied by negative two X is gonna be positive six X squared and finally, negative 3x times positive 5 makes negative 15x. Long division, we subtract down vertically. So basically combining these like terms, you'll notice that the first ones are going to cancel out as we do negative 6x cubed minus a negative 6x cubed. That's like adding the 6x cubed. So I'm not going to write that down there, but it would result in 0x cubes. Next, we have 10x squared minus six x squareds. And I find writing this kind of horizontally is helpful to make fewer mistakes as we go through these. That's gonna give us positive four x squareds. It's kind of like that subtraction gets distributed, if you wanna think of this as addition vertically. And then finally, we have the x to the first power terms. We have negative 20 x minus a negative 15 x. So really that's negative 20 X's plus 15 X's, which will result in negative five X's overall. All right, We're not quite done because our powers are the same in our divisor and what's left over. So let's go ahead and bring down our next term. The plus eight comes down and we're gonna repeat our process. Okay, remember we focus on the two X squared and say to ourselves, what do we need to multiply that by to give us the four x squared exactly. So in this case, if we go ahead and put a positive two up here in our quotient, that positive two is then gonna get distributed to each one of these terms in our divisor. And we're gonna to say to ourselves, two times two x squared, sure enough makes four x squared, so we play in that out. But then don't forget to distribute that positive two from up top by each one of the other terms. So negative two X times two is negative four X and positive two times five is positive 10. Again, subtract down. So four X squared minus four X squared, zero X squared. But negative five X minus negative four X is gonna be negative five X's plus four X's, which is gonna give us negative X when we get done. And then we have eight minus 10 for the last step here is gonna be negative two. So as we look at this, we can identify up at the top, we have our quotient, which is gonna correspond with our Q of X function. And down here at the bottom, we get this as the remainder, which is gonna correspond with the R of X function. So to rewrite this in that form, Q of X plus R of X divided by our divisor, we would simply go negative three X plus two, that's the quotient, plus negative X minus two, that's the remainder, over the two X squared minus two X plus five. 
Okay, so I hope this helps out as you're working on dividing uh, polynomial functions using the long division. Good luck.